Hi guys, it's Mrs. Morrow. Okay, so today we are going to do another jellyfish drawing, but I told you we were gonna do something a little different today, and we are. As you can tell, these are the materials that you're gonna need. You're going to need a white crayon, you're going to need your watercolors, if you have them, and a, your water, and your paintbrush, and then I have a little tissue so that I can clean off my brush. Um, if you don't have watercolors, now remember the trick we learned earlier this year, you can take a little bit of water, like the lid of a water bottle, and put water in it and dip your marker in that, and it will change that water into the color of your marker, and you can use that as a watercolor. So that's just a little trick if you don't have watercolors. Now, first thing we're gonna do is use our white crayon to draw our jellyfish. You guys really, I want you to use white because that's what works best, but because you're not gonna be able to see it if I use white, I'm gonna use yellow just so you can see it. Um, now, the funnest thing about jellyfish and drawing is that you can use like your own artistic style. I'm gonna do jellyfish that don't have faces on them today because I want mine to look a little more realistic so I'm just gonna do kind of that bulby shape that we have learned. And I want my crayon to be kind of thick, so I'm gonna go over it just twice because I need that wax. That wax from the crayon is kind of like our magic ingredient. Then I'm going to do the tentacles. Nice and long. I'm gonna have one that's like super long maybe. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a couple more. So maybe I'm going to do one like here. I might give this one more of that little edge like we did on our drawing yesterday. And maybe some of the joined tentacles. Uh, you can be as creative as you want. And just remember, you're using white, so it is kind of hard to see what you're drawing. You just have to, oh, I think I hit the camera. Sorry if that bounced all over. Um, you have to just go kind of push your crayon sort of hard so that you can see your line. I'm gonna do another one down here, but kind of small. Give it some different tentacles. The most important thing is to give it that um, that shape. I just really like that belly kind of shape. And there we go. So it looks like mine are kind of flowing through the water. Once you have your jellyfish drawn, and the cool thing about this is you can do it more than once. So like you can kind of play with it and figure it out. You're gonna wanna have quite a bit of water on your brush when you go into your paint. And I'm gonna try to use multiple colors because the ocean, as we've been watching, is not at all one color, right? So remember, if I want a lighter color, I wanna keep dipping my um, brush in the water because that's gonna help the color get lighter but I wanna put some purple in here because when I think of the ocean, I don't just think of blue, especially with um, some of the pictures that we've been watching, some of those things I've been finding for you. But as I go, I'm just gonna do these top ones for you so you can see them. As I'm going and I'm putting that water on, what do you notice is happening? What is the wax of the crayon doing. It's kind of cool. That wax is like a barrier between the paper and the watercolor. So where my drawing was, it's not getting paint on it. So now my jellyfish are kind of popping out of my paper because 
I can see them so much better with the paint around them. Isn't that cool? So you keep going and you're gonna keep going until your whole paper is covered in paint. So you're just gonna keep going, keep adding new colors if you want. Remember, the more water you have on your brush, the lighter the colors of paint will become. And the neat thing is I love watercolors because you can go back in and kind of add more water to an area and it will get even lighter and lighter. So you can keep playing with this for a long time and you can keep changing the colors as you're going. The biggest problem is just getting too much water so that eventually your whole paper is like floating. You don't want to do that part. You really don't want your paper floating in water, but you do need water on it. So as you can see, I don't, you don't need to, I don't need to show you video the whole exact thing of me going forever on the water, but you can tell what's happening, right? Isn't that cool how my jellyfish are now coming out of that water? You can tell that they're swimming in it. I think that's a really cool way to draw jellyfish because what did we learn about our jellyfish? Why would this be such a good way to do a jellyfish instead of like a shark? It's good because a lot of jellyfish are translucent and or um, transparent, which means they're either see-through or almost see-through, somewhat see-through. So the fact that you can kind of see the ocean through these painted jellyfish is super cool. So I'm gonna stop there just because I don't think you guys want me to have to videotape this whole thing. But I'm gonna take off my extra water like this. But so you can see with the top of them where I'm done, how those jellyfish are just swimming in that ocean and I love that I can see the shades of purple and blue and green. So this I thought was a fun way to do it and I wanted to show you but I couldn't do it with my paper up on an easel like normal or that water would have been going everywhere. So I hope you guys have fun. I hope you try it and show me pictures of your paintings. Bye.